This is why we're all doing what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, it's course. exactly what it is. It's just totally, 100%. literally for raising hail. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do. Exactly. I right. mean, it, the whole muscle car thing to me is like is an outlaw culture in a way. So, Doug, we're going to talk about transmissions today, huh? Yes, sir. I mean, obviously, there's there, there's a synergy between engines, your engine guys, and transmissions because we've got to get the power to the ground. So, like, in your brain, how do you put all that together? Because you're not a transmission guy. Right. You just partner with really good companies. Well, that's a great lead in, isn't it then? So that's why we've got Matt Graves on from uh, American Powertrain. And Matt, thanks for being on the show with us today, man. Um, you've got a great looking display behind you. Thanks. I'm uh, glad to be here and uh, can't wait to talk about all the stuff we got. Uh, TKXs, five speeds, six speeds, all that stuff. So that's what we do. We live, breathe and die by transmissions here. So <laughs> dude, loving the, that's loving the, 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 the banner on the back there, you know, some, some save the stick action. Yeah. We, what's that whole joke? Uh, this, this vehicle is equipped with a millennial anti-theft device. Oh, yeah. it, it caters to that inner beast you have, you know, that you want to, you want that loud V8. You want a big, powerful V8 from prestige. You want a, you know, five speed behind it, or you, you just, you want big tires on your car, you know, all that stuff. So it's just, this is what we have to do. We had this is our public service to America. <laughs> I like that. That that's great. Yeah, and it's yeah. a great escape from all this stuff. You know, um, get who hasn't gotten in their car and took a long drive for the day and just felt way better. Especially if you've had a bad day at work or something, and just get in your muscle car or your sports car, or whatever, and just go out and have some fun. And next thing you know. None of that stuff is a big deal anymore. We can talk about this stuff all day long. Uh, Doug, let's cut back over to you. I see that you have got a couple of transmissions sitting on the dining room table right there. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, the wife would probably get you a little upset if you put it on the dining table. But, you know, at the end of the day, they are a sweet piece of equipment. Um, really, he's got plenty on his side to show you. Um, this was just two examples that we had. Obviously, we've sold the TKOs for a long time on that side little bit bulkier trans um but it, it's been a staple of the industry you know i actually still today people are calling yeah i want a tko i'm like well that's superseded it's now called the tkx and obviously you can tell the the differences but i'll let matt kind of go into quite a bit more detail of what makes them different what's kind of evolved and and uh what makes them so hot today in the market all right so a lot of what trimit does is take it they take an oe transmission and kind of convert it over to the aftermarket so they'll put dual speedo like this has a mechanical speedo here you can't see it but on the other side there's an electronic speedo you've got multiple shift positions you can move between here we have a mid shift conversion that goes here so it's kind of flexible but the tkx and we'll back out to here the tkx is smaller cased the big difference being with the smaller case is the old TKO design is a top loader. So all the gears come in from the top that way. Well, it makes the case bigger. Whereas the TKX is an inload design. So everything comes in from the back. So you can make the case smaller and stronger. And you have what's called a mid plate here. And that really strengthens the case up right here. So everything gets smaller. The, you can see the shifter is not as wide as the other one. It still has the multiple shift locations, multiple speedo options. It's got very strong gears. It's good for 600 foot-pounds of torque. I think it'll go up a little higher, and we can modify them to go up a little higher. Uh, we do a rim polish and a cryo treating. We haven't got the specs on them back, but we think that's good for like 900 foot-pounds of torque after we modify them. So we can really dial these up. Um, and I've got a Magnum. So just in a comparison, this is the 6B, and you can see how much longer – the six speed is and bigger and it's also an inload design but it's hard to get this thing in tunnels it's really tall i mean it's if you're getting one of these you're committing to doing tunnel mods for just about 80 percent of the muscle cars out there whereas this will fit chevelles it'll fit mustangs it'll fit camaros it'll fit novas no problem and if you see like the other thing we do is we actually make uh, this shifter assembly here and this gives you 
a correct shifter location in your car. So if, it, if you have a console car, we can move this over to come right out in your console where it needs to come out. And we can do about 60 different positions with our uh, revolution shifter we have here. We can put it here, here, and, and right there. And really, just just about any kind of car you could call in and go, oh, you got a duster. Okay, it goes here, offset two inches this way. and That's where it goes. So we, we've kind of got all that information in our system on how all that stuff works. So, You know, Matt, something we talk a lot about here on, on the show, and, and Doug has been awesome to point that out, is that, is that knowledge – is worth the price of admission. And what you just Absolutely. talked about, right? You're like, oh yeah, if you've got such and such vehicle, we know that the shifter is going to go here and it's going to, you know, like you said, a little offset here and there, whatever. That, it's one thing to buy a part, but it's another thing to have the knowledge to back it up so that when you get the install done correctly and everything goes back together, that it all works. And again, we've talked about right. this at <clears throat> length with, with engines, with Doug, but you guys are in the same position just on the transmission side. Let's say you have a 69 Camaro and it's, starting, it's a four-speed car, small block Chevy, just a meat and potatoes kind of muscle car, and you want to put a TKX in it. That's probably one of the easiest swaps to do, but not for everybody. And that's okay. I understand. Like for some people like us, we could you know do that, no big deal. But a week, a guy working on his car on a weekend, it's kind of intimidating to do that job. And we try to make it as easy as possible. We, we give you every nut and bolt, every piece of hardware. We make your drive shaft. We have the cross member. We can tailor that kit to whatever you need for your car and try to make it as smooth as possible to do that. Doug, he's talking the exact same language that you talk, just with transmissions instead of engines. I can see why you guys get along. Yeah. Well, and as I'm sitting here listening to him, that's, that's exactly you know one of the reasons for partnering with them is that we, we push the custom-built engine side of it. And call it the lifeline, we follow it through all the way to the end. You know, so doing the initial startup with the customer, that's exactly what they're doing with the transmission. So whether, you know, maybe you're just doing a run of the mill hot rod and it's uh, unmodified TKX, basic bell housing, and, and of course all the parts you need to put it in, they're, they're right there with you, just like we are on the engine side. You want a custom engine, we've got you covered. You want a custom transmission, like he had mentioned, cryo gears, you know, uh, various upgrades from the custom shifters. They've done that part. So they're the custom transmission company. We're the custom engine company. You put the two together and you got something great. Our biggest thing we fight on a daily basis is junkyard transmissions. Every day. And I've done video after video after video after video explaining to people why an LT1 T56 cannot go behind your 900 horsepower LS motor. So <clears throat> you get somebody that buys an engine from Doug that's got tons of power and he wants to put a junkyard transmission in it. And I'm like, why do you want to put a thousand dollar transmission behind your $25,000 engine? Either he's out of money from behind the engine <laughs> or he just doesn't want, you know, and it's like, well, my buddy did it or whatever. And a lot of it's just them not understanding. They just think it's a six speed. Oh, it's just a six speed. So it's, you know, we try to educate right. people on, you know, you need, you know, you need, this is the thing, you're, the transmission is what you're interacting with your car while you're driving the whole time. Why do you want that to be the cheapest thing? Absolutely said the key word there, educate, right? That's my chicken yeah. scratch, but that's what I was like, man, that is the key word. I think yeah. a lot of times people get into things and, and maybe they've started a project and they just didn't know where it was going to lead them. And, and, you know, guys like you guys at Prestige and American can, you guys can really help them find their way and wind up with something that really ultimately makes them happy. And really that's why we do this, right? Cars make us happy. Absolutely. Yeah. I got a buddy of mine, my buddy, Mark is, is building a 71 challenger right now. And he's been working on this thing for the better part of a decade. I hate to say this, um, but, but everything on that car means something to him, right? It's special. The, the body work that he's done, the engine work that he's done, picking out the suspension parts, all that stuff has been a part of the story that he's telling with this. So from a transmission end, are there even special things that you guys can do? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we have what's called like stage one, stage two, stuff like that. We build, uh, we, we can do, uh, if somebody calls in and says, Hey, I do a little drag racing on the weekend. Oh, and by the way, I have a hell crate motor in a, in a 70 challenger. Okay. So we will actually sell them more than likely a six speed Magnum because it's the more can take the most power. 
but we do have another option and we just got this in uh, today that we're, we have partnered up with Fitzner gear and I'll walk back here real quick to our shop and show you just around the corner here. Bear with me. Uh, it's a fully sequential conversion for a Magnum 60 and they're built in Australia. Um, you basically take a Magnum transmission, take all the guts out of it and put in all of their stuff. It's over here on this table. So I'll turn this down. Can you guys see that? Yep. Not my hand. So here's the, this is, this is a dog cut gear. We're building this for uh, Chris Smith, Smitty's Custom Automotive. He runs Optima. He's got a really wild, nasty second gen Camaro. He runs in the top five in Optima every year. Um, he's looking for every competitive advantage he can get. And this is the next level. So it's got the full sequential mechanism. And you can see that's a Magnum bolt pattern for the shifter. It's got the actuator system here. All your slider assembly. Um, all the, every gear, straight cut gears. Uh, we actually, we have a new case and trim it. We're actually putting on his transmission and we're using a tick performance billet front cover. So this will be a pretty trick piece once it's all done. So um, Matt, you're saying uh, you're saying sequential cut uh, dog gears or sequential with, with, with dog gears. That's that's going to be no clutch shifting too, right? On, on an upshift. That's correct. You, you you can use the clutch on launch, and after that, you just bang it up and down through oh, the gears. God. Now there's a lot to cool. it. Like you see this little sensor right here. It's a load sensor. So as soon as you grab that stick and start to load on it, it blips the throttle automatically. So you got to have a you know. We're studying how to make all that electronics work. We've got a big manual we've been reading through. We're doing a, a conference call with them tomorrow on how to build these. So we're pretty excited because it's like new for us to get into this. And there's a market for it. I mean, we're not going to sell them every day, but we want to be able to, to just to have it for our customers that just want that. Like you said, that extra piece to make their build more custom, you know. Yeah. And, you know, that's where I tell guys just, you know, take a little bit longer uh, to build the project. Do it right. The first time you will be a lot happier in the end. And uh, I'm very glad to hear that you guys are, you know, getting into the land of uh, sequentials, you know, upgraded gear sets. Um, that that's, that's a big deal. And I think there's, there's more of a market uh, than, than most people know. So, yeah, absolutely. We're selling your engine. So we've got to back them up with something that can handle all that power you're making. <laughs> Prestige Motorsports is the company with the motors. We've got a uh, American powertrain and Matt Graves talking transmissions with us today. Matt, I'll give you a final word on this one, man. Guys building cars. They, uh, they got questions about transmissions. Uh, obviously expert knowledge. That's the way to go, right? Our tech line is open every day of the week, except for Sundays. And you can reach out to us through social media. Uh, we have a on our website, we have what's called a request for quote form. And we have a tech form. So our thing is you can go to any of our Internet or our website, social media outlets and, and contact us directly. And we can build you a custom package from beginning to end, even with a prestige motor, too. Plus, I can get one of those cool T-shirts there. Absolutely. That's our whole other side business is apparel right now. That's what my boss says. <laughs> He goes, I never thought I'd be selling shirts like I am. And I was like, well, car guys love shirts. As long as you have the, if you put a skull on a shirt, you print them out the door. <laughs> we are bringing the pros to you. Sure helps out with your builds, doesn't it? It's Engine Room TV powered by Prestige Motorsports. I can't wait to see you guys on the next episode. Until then, take care. I'm John Hammer.